Hi everybody, welcome back to our shit show. If it is your first time here, welcome to Life with Lena and Jen. If not, welcome back. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is gonna be a very, very special video um, for myself and my husband in our house. We have a really big project that we wanna do. It is in our um, it is in our dining room of our home, so I will show you guys what the area is and then what we plan to do. So let me take you over to the dining room. Okay, so our house has a very open concept, like our kitchen flows to our dining room, then flows to our living room. Um, so this is how it looks, and we are planning to get a new dining table. Everything is just back ordered right now, but. This wall right here, um, we do have our fireplace insert right here. And guys, it's a pretty big freaking wall. Like, let me just go back to show you. So it's a pretty big wall. The ceilings are nine feet tall. And then I don't remember the width. But anyways, we are planning to make that a whole stone wall. So um, I wanted it to serve as an accent wall. All my walls are white. Um, and I just wanted that to kind of be like a wow factor and I feel like it will really pop and it will look really, really nice with our fireplace insert that we do have. Um, our inspiration actually was from my parents really because they did have a stone wall in their previous house and now they do have not like a whole stone wall, but they do have, um, some stone behind their TV. So I'm going to show you what my parents had to give you guys an idea of how it looked. And then I'm gonna show you the stone we're deciding to go with and just take you guys along the journey. And I will show you how my dad and my husband are working on it, the supplies that they buy to do it. And just, yeah, I wanna show you guys this transformation. Let me show you my parents' wall now. Okay, <laughs> so I know this is an Instagram post, but honestly, um, my parents uh, like ended up selling this house. Um, so obviously it's not like we're there anymore in order to show it in person, but look at how beautiful it came out so freaking nice. It's such a nice like accent in their, their home that they had. So once we got this one and we saw how the dining room was, we were like, we need a stone wall. This was literally like in 2017. Um, and I think they had this, they had this wall for a while, but anyways, we did take a trip that we didn't record to, where did we get this, babe? Was this Lowe's or Home Depot? Lowe's. Lowe's, okay. So we found this one that we liked at Lowe's. We're gonna take one out to show you. Ah! Look at how beautiful, this thing is freaking heavy. So I wanted um like lighter, more of like, well, what I had in my mind, I was thinking to do like lighter even than this. Um, and they did have one lighter than this that's like had whites in it. But I feel like when you looked at it, like a certain angle, it almost looked like it had yellow in it. And I didn't really like that. So we ended up picking up a box of this one that has like kind of like your white and it does have some gray in it. Which I think is going to go perfect with our home because we do have like a white and gray kitchen and everything flows together. And I feel like even with our dining set coming in, it's just going to look really nice. So we are going to um, head over to Lowe's. What? <laughs> We're going to head over to Lowe's. Sorry, guys, for the scream. Um, and see if we can pick up a lot of boxes of this. It's showing that they have it available. So fingers crossed they do. Um, yeah, so let's go to Lowe's. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep. Hopefully they have it. This we got the ugliest, most beat up cart. <laughs> but hopefully it can fit. Yep, it works and hopefully it can fit all of the stone. Who's that sexy man over there? <laughs> Who's that sexy man over there? Excuse me. I don't see nobody behind the wood. <laughs> Can I have your number? Nah, okay. <laughs> this is homeowner things, y'all. 
Once you become a homeowner, this is what you'll be doing. This is what makes you excited and all tingly. <laughs> all right, see you by the stone. Okay, you guys, so this is the section. So the one that we showed you that we're going with is that top left corner. And the one I was mentioning to you guys is, so that's the one we're going with. The one I was mentioning was that one. It's more of like white. But like, my, I don't know if you can see it on camera. With certain angles, it has like a little bit of a yellow undertone. So, I wasn't crazy about it. It's hard to see through the camera, but you can see it in person. So, we need about 40 boxes. And we need to get the tin set, according to my dad. So, we're going with the Satori Summit Ice. So this is our first Lowe's trip. They only had 32 boxes available. So we need to stop at another Lowe's and get another eight boxes. But we are loading them in the car. All right, this is round three. We went to a second store and they literally had none. So we need a few more boxes from here. And um, yeah. Said we gotta go straight home. That is mucho dinero on the trunk. Yeah. Guys, look at how like the car looks like it's sitting lower because of the weight. It's so funny. Today is Saturday, and guys, guess what's going up? Jenny's wall. Hey, Dad. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> you ready to work hard for me? Yeah, we're gonna. I'll make you some lunch. <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna remove. We're gonna have a, We have about forty boxes of stone. We're gonna do this whole entire wall. It's about nine feet tall, thirteen feet wide. And me and Joshua, we're gonna try to have this done today. Maybe ninety percent. So we're gonna have to remove this space molding in here. So that's that bottom molding. Because we want the stone to be close to the to the floor. We're gonna have we have two outlets in here. We're gonna remove the plates, remove the outlets, and bring them out. And uh, they're gonna have to go back in the same place. But we're gonna have to use longer screws because the stone's about maybe an inch thick. And, uh, so that they'll be flush with flush the the, the stone. stone. Yep. The fireplace. We're gonna have to. We got a few screws in here. We're gonna have to. Uh, Untie the screws and slide it out so the stone can go behind the lip so everything looks nice and finished. And up here we have also have another another plug that we gotta figure out where the power is coming into it because she doesn't want the plug up there or the cable. Uh, we're gonna remove that and uh, see how it goes. Easy. <laughs>
Okay, you guys, yeah. so the base molding has been removed. They're just trying to take all the nails out, so it's out. Um, another thing that we forgot to mention that my dad said is that we brought like 20 boxes at once. We have to open them up, and as you're placing the stone on the wall, you have to take a piece, like each piece from a different box, basically. And the reasoning for that is um, he said that one box might have like more darker pieces or lighter, and then you don't want the wall to look patchy, right, Dad? Like yes. darker spots and lighter spots. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna work out of the maybe 10 or 15 boxes at once. Okay, yeah. So he says you have to work out of multiple boxes. That way you make sure, you know, it stays consistent with the color and it doesn't look patchy. So if you do plan on doing this, and make sure to open a whole bunch of boxes at once and that you pick a piece maybe from like 10, 15 boxes at a time. Um, yeah. Yeah, good news. Woohoo, it comes the, from there. This outlet feeds down, so we can just cut the wire and eliminate that switch. I mean, that plug that is not going to go nowhere. I'm going to take it apart, make sure it doesn't go anywhere else. But if there's only one wire going into it and nothing coming out, we're good to do it. Woo, okay, Woo. so we had some good news followed by a little bit of bad news. So, the first, our goal is we didn't mind keeping the outlets at the bottom but we didn't want to keep the one on top, like in the middle of the stone wall. So the top one feeds off of the first one down there. But now my dad is saying he thinks that the top now feeds this bottom one. So if that's the case, we want to make sure that this bottom one doesn't feed anywhere else and we'll just remove both and keep one if we can. So, figuring it all out. This side is too black, so this keeps feeding. You know, it just keeps feeding from outlet to outlet. It just keeps jumping. Shit. And uh, I think this one is also feeding the one by the window. This is the last one. So it comes, probably this is the last one, but it comes from there to here, goes up here, comes down here, and it feeds all these all the way around. <laughs> His face. <laughs> How do you leave this in my wall? <laughs> He's going in the hole. He's going in the hole. Don't fall in the basement. <laughs> Don't get stuck. Yes, we can remove that now. Woohoo! We can remove it! <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. You look funny going in and out of the wall. They're annoyed with me already. They're like, shut up, stop recording. So how does it work with removing that? You're gonna keep the cables connected behind the fireplace? We're going to, uh, since we have access to from inside, we're gonna remove this outlet. We're gonna use a box behind here, a plastic box for the cover. We're gonna wire not the wires. I'm basically still gonna work 
the same way he's working, it's just we don't have our app yet. Can you guys spot my dad anywhere? Where the heck did he go? <laughs> oh, there he is, in my house, in the hole. Well done, yeah. like, oh, we did the whole job, and the whole thing came down, scratched my floor, and so, so much money. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> what do you think, Bentley? <laughs> you need french fries? All right, guys, we're ready to rock and roll. The reason for the, um, what is that called? The red light. The level. Oh, the it's just the laser level. Um, my dad said that the floor is level, but it's just to know how much, um, this is called thin set. So it's almost like, um, kind of like a cement where the, um, stone is going to stick to. So he doesn't want to go above from the floor to that line because then it can dry so he does what it's like a foot at a time all the way across is that a foot or two dad two stones is a foot it's a foot that's how it looks so we got what this is a gray right oh wait oh that's white it looks yeah. great this is already pre-mixed so you could just slap it on there and it's good uh, yes okay Also for this side of the wall, um, they have already cut the stone because it looks like that, but they cut it so that it's is even with the wall at the edge. <laughs>
Hi guys, happy Sunday. So the wall got done yesterday, but um, there are just some small things that we have to finish up today. Oh, okay, first of all, do you guys see that snow outside? Can you see it? It's freaking snowing. And yesterday was 50 degrees. I just don't understand. But anyways, here is the almost finished product. So I wanted to explain. So here is the fireplace. It just doesn't have the glass in front. Um, and my dad put some cardboard here. And basically the reasoning for that is, um, I know I was mentioning when he was putting the thin set, which is almost like the cement, how he would do it in sections so that it didn't dry out. Um, when it's exposed to air, it, he says it can take like 15 to 20 minutes to dry. But the minute you put the stone on it, um, it does take longer to dry. So just to be on the safe side, he said about like 24 hours just to make sure everything is settled and nothing shifts or moves. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so then we'll remove this. We'll remove this right here. Then we're going to add the glass. And the glass is going to be, you know, flush. So it's going to look very clean and modern. Then we just have to get, um, what is that called? The outlet little thingies, whatever that's called. Back in there with longer screws as well so that it's flush with the wall. Um, oh, and then on this side. So like this is the side view. So right here, it has to just be um, caulked um, so that it kind of fills in the space here and um, it just gives it like a neater look. I don't know if it's hard to see. So last night we were super excited because um, this stone like sparkles and it looks really, really nice. It's hard to see it during the day. I feel like when it's... Um, I don't know why. I feel like when it's darker out, right, and then we have the lights inside of the house, it's, you can see it better. So I will show you guys. It's sparkling. Hopefully, I can get it on camera. And then I will show you the finished product once everything is put in place. So let me know your guys' thoughts. And I also think it came out pretty even and consistent, like the color throughout the wall. Ah, it looks so good. Who is ready for the final reveal? Countdown, somebody. 10, 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bam! Woo! <laughs> oh, guys. So I showed you guys this morning, but we added the glass and the little outlet covers, whatever you call them. It's so good. Let me go from the front. Oh my God. It even yeah. makes it look bigger, the space. Yeah. Believe it or not. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Babe, um, turn the colors. Change the colors so I can see it. If you guys want to see some cool stuff. Ooh. Which one's your favorite color? <laughs> I like how the green. You like the green? Oh, I know. <laughs> that makes sense. Ooh, that one's pretty nice. So what do you guys think? The final look. I wonder if they can see. It's hard to see through the camera, but it sparkles. Let me go up close. Let me go up close. You fancy girl. Ooh, you see? So as I move the camera, you kind of see like, it just looks nice and sparkly. Ooh, thanks to these guys over here. Thanks, dad. Thanks, babe. What do you think, Mom? Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Guys, it looks amazing. It We're looks so excited. So, so good. <laughs> they they did an amazing <laughs> job. Let us know what It was you guys done in think. one day. Comment below in the comments. Yeah, today is Sunday, and they did it all day yesterday. All day yesterday, Saturday. So, we just had to add the glass and the outlet covers today. Yeah. But I think this is going to go up tomorrow, right? Today's Super Bowl Sunday, so I don't know if it's a good day to post because I feel like people have parties. And... Are you going to put a mirror there or no? Yeah. Um, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.
Thank you.